And when we look at the general recommendations of 150 minutes of moderate intensity activity, two of them resistance training, that's like the opposite of what women in perimenopause and postmenopause should be doing. Mm-hmm. So Here with, me, I saw your face. Yeah, with, with, <laughs> with and I want to go into to exactly what you would recommend for women during these phases, but based on what you just said then about estrogen, and so in, I appreciate um, in this kind of avatar I mentioned that Naomi is not taking HRT, yep. but would you say that HRT makes it um, easier to maintain strength and lose weight? No. So when we look at what people are using for menopause hormone therapy, you can have microdized doses, which then sort of has a hepatic response, but it's only 25% bioavailable as compared to what your body's naturally producing. So what I want people to understand about hormone replacement, it's not really hormone replacement, it's menopause hormone therapy. It is a therapy. And we know there's a really fantastic efficacy for people who are having significant issues and symptoms that interfere with daily life. So we see mood swings, hot flashes, night sweats, poor sleep, um, vaginal dryness, all of those things. And when it comes down to body composition, it doesn't have a true effect. We see it slows down the rate of change, but doesn't stop the change. We see that it can be used as a therapy to slow down the rate of bone mineral loss, but it is not a treatment Mm -hmm. for osteoporosis. So there's this misconception really circulating about hormone therapy and the immediate response is every woman in perimenopause should go on it. But in reality, it is an individual thing. And we have to look at the fact that those people who are shouting that from the rooftops are not looking at nutrition and exercise. So when I said earlier, we look at an external stress to apply to the body that's going to create an adaptation. So when we look at Naomi and she can't use hormone therapy, that's sweet. She doesn't have to because we can look at power training, right? And again, it's relative. What is heavy lifting to a 60-year-old? If she's never lifted 15 kilo barbell, that's probably heavy to her, right? So we look at implementing that power-based stuff. And there's been some really fantastic studies that have looked at 70 and 80 year old women who ditch the hypertrophy 10 to 12 rep range and actually get into the 70 to 80% one rep max and doing the six to eight. Not only do they increase their lean mass, they improve their bone density and proprioception. So their falls risk decreases. So this is what we're looking at when we're looking at women who are postmenopause. So it's not just about body composition. It's like, okay, if this is what's happening when you're 60, we also want to look forward to 70, 80, 90, 